We'll be back again with another video. Hey guys, with no fat day eight of nine. I got the busting. That's gonna be about eight and a half days. Haven't been busting them nuts. Yeah, you guys, on day eight, and the energy is definitely, uh, definitely coming back, um, like a raging bull. Uh, I'm not gonna say urges, but like I can definitely feel like the uh, that sexual energy starting to arise. You know, you guys know like it always does. Um, yeah, man. The, uh, um, yeah, man. The, the, that energy's definitely there. Um, uh, been, been staying pretty busy. Um, uh, I, I, I've you know still been busy with the workouts. Uh, I think two days in a row now. You know, I worked out in the morning. Um, last night also. Um, I also worked out before I went to bed. So I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to do like in the morning and at night. Um, I had some oatmeal last night for, uh, for, uh, for, I guess, uh, dinner, whatever you call it, with a scoop of, like, protein powder and some, and some, um, and some walnuts and things like that in there, and, like, a banana. I'm trying to eat, trying to, um, I, uh, I know it's kind of weird to eat, like, oatmeal for, like, dinner or whatnot, but it's, uh, it's pretty healthy. Uh, trying to, trying to, trying to clean up the diet a little bit as well. The only thing I'm not doing well is, like, uh, it's, like, meditating. I gotta be consistent with that as well. Because you know, like on like day by day thirty, it's been a quarter. Said like thirty, I went thirty days in a row with like you know all my habits. You know, with, you know, you know, studying Spanish, uh, working out every day, meditating, uh, whatever. What else was it? Um, it was something else. Um, you know, that way. I, so, so you know, I can really have like a a nice little streak of like positive habits. Because as you know, um, reading the addiction, you have to have, you have to have more. You have to have you have to completely replace all of the porn induced all the porn. Quote unquote porn habits that um that are also associated with associated associated with, with your addiction, like you know, fantasizing about girls. You know you fantasize about girls while you you know before you discover no fab, playing to, playing video games all day, eating a lot of unhealthy foods, not talking to people, not putting yourself out of your comfort zone. Even more, all that stuff of procrastinate a, a lot of different things that that are also like on the same level with that on that kind of go hand in hand with your with the point addiction you have to replace those habits and those thoughts with, with new new uh, habits new positive ones to replace the old ones because you just continue doing all the things same thing you did while you were watching porn every day and you don't and you know you keep doing all those habits but you just stop watching porn eventually you're gonna go right back into the you know the porn because you're doing literally everything you were doing while you're watching porn you know, all the thing you're doing differently is just not watching porn but eventually um uh, like it always does it's gonna come back around and you're gonna have you're gonna have a bad day one day, and you're gonna be doing all the same things. You're just, I just gonna see. I just gonna see how you continue. You can do all the same habits that you did while you're watching porn frequently, um, and and just and then somehow um, you know uh, not not relapse because you're still in that same mental space. You're still in the same mental place that you were when you watch porn. The only thing you're doing differently is just not watching porn, and your life really isn't improving that well because you, your life really isn't improving all that much because you're just, you're just literally doing all the same things. Yeah, man, I'm doing pretty good so far, but I never really made it. I never really got to like a week of doing like a solid like routine, like every day sticking with the same thing. Um, I, I really want to. I want to make it to. I really want to make it to, to thirty days, but I really want to. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take it a week by a week by week and see what how I can uh, if I can really um, you know make this thing. Uh, damn, it's, it's, it's been a week now. Wow, that's crazy. Um, I really want to make it uh, like I'm gonna try to get to two weeks now of um of just uh. Just doing my habits every day, working out, um, um, having a Spanish lesson in the morning, um, watching a Spanish TV show, a TV show, whatever, um, uh, uh, you know, shout, doing all those things. Um, eventually, I need to include meditating in there as well, uh, especially at night. At night, working out, you know, I'm trying to, try, try to include meditating in, uh, and maybe maybe watch another Spanish TV show. You know, just, just, trying, just trying to build these habits up before... Um, uh, you know, have to move into the apartment, uh, you know, and then get ready for school on, uh, you know, August 15th. Um, uh, yeah, man. So I really want to have a, a, a solid core of habits, um, uh, in my back pocket before, you know, the semester starts again because, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, I want to talk about it better. Like really, uh, porn, all porn is, is, uh, if you really think about it, the only thing that, um, the, the the point is it's the same exact cycle every time. Essentially, is um, uh, essentially is it's urges, relapse, and regret. Urge, relapse, and regret. That's just only that's pretty much the cycle. Point is, urge, relapse, and regret. 
and I, and obviously when in the urge and in, in the urge, um, it's a lot of things within the urge. Um, obviously, a browsing sites, um, um, browsing sites, um, looking at your, going back over your point of your point, your history, trying to trying to trying to catch, trying to catch, uh, trying to trying to just see you, you, when it's come to specifically a point of addiction, man, it's crazy. Like uh, my 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 guy Fitz Brown, his day sixteen video, how he mentioned he was looking at his point, like well his uh, history and. And he's seen a porn video. I mean, and uh, in, our, our brain is really crazy. But deep down in our mind, we know what we know what we're doing. We're, 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 we're trying to like we're, we're trying to like catch we're trying to like catch something so we can kind of like make us like we're, we're trying we're trying to like when you when you look at your, at your history, you try to like look at the old porn videos on your history. Not like actually not, not actually, like just the title. Like you know you go into your history, you see like the title of the video. It's like you're trying to like find something that one image or that one video that that was just like that just click your mind that like say okay click it and you sign you said one video you click on the video in your history now you now you in the porn video <laughs> and next thing you know you about you watch porn and next thing you know you jacking off and so our brain our brains are our brains are, are slick um and, and deep down our subconscious we know what we're doing we, we know we're bullshit when, when we um because I've done it as well like how you uh you go in your history you kind of like scroll down and you see that porn video that that you last visited like last week and it's like damn here here it is. And you click on the video, and next thing you know, you look, you're looking at the whole the whole thumbnail of the porn video. All you gotta do is hit that play button. And next thing you know, you got penis in your hand, with or without the lotion, or with or without the the, uh, the cloth to clean it up with. And next thing you know, you don't be you don't relapse. So um, when I see urge, it's a lot of different things that that with an urge. Like sometimes sometimes you may go on Facebook and scroll down on Instagram. You may scroll down to try to find like a picture of a cute girl, and it's like it's crazy how your brain kind of like just kind of like um. You kind of like fish for like material to kind of like help push you over the edge because you really want to you really want to bust that nut. You really, cause if if you really if you if you want to bust that nut, you you wouldn't have logged on the Facebook or Instagram when you had the urge because you know if we had the urge and you really just want to view something, you really want to you really want to low key bust that nut. You want that feeling. If whenever you log on to Instagram or Facebook, or whatever, or go on YouTube and, and you have in your mind, you really want to see like some some sexual. Um, yeah, uh, anything from, from that point on, you you just you, you're lucky. Well, you're hockey trying to just find like a video that would just really uh, excite, excite you so much. So you just clicking the video, and now you're watching the video, knowing that you're watching because you want to see something sexual, and then eventually you, you, you're gonna bust that nut. So it's all, but it's all you know. It's a lot of things uh, like in that early cycle, but we gotta know what a relapse is and um, regret. And so it's the same cycle, man. Urge, relapse, and regret. When you get the urge, you're gonna do a lot of things. You're gonna Go on Instagram. You're gonna start thinking about old points, and you're gonna start looking at your old history. Um, um, like, like I said, see my guy Fitz Brown video. I've been the same thing before. I, I pulled back in my porn history, not porn history. I, I went to my internet history. I scrolled down, and so I've seen like we went back like weeks, weeks before, and I've seen like okay, the old porn videos that I've been, I've been at, and uh, I've seen those. I'm like, damn, okay, here we go. And then it's like it's like you go through the same process. Then you you, you go on Instagram, look for just scroll down. No, you're not. No, you're not scrolling because you want to see what's going on, on Instagram. You're scrolling because you're only on Instagram because you want to see a picture that's going to excite excite you to the point to where you you start jacking off. You start um you know you start doing all these different things. You start pacing back and forth. It's a lot. It's a lot of different things. It's 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 a lot of things that we do when we when we are or in the urge cycle. But if you really think about it. It's the same thing over and over again. Urge, urge. Um, it's an urge, relapse, and then regret. After you bust that nut, you start regretting it. A lot of times, you really didn't even want to bust that nut. Um, it just like you, you, it's, it's the same old porn cycle, and um, I feel like it's uh, you really. Have, I, I feel like, I feel like it's um, releasing yourself from like a higher, like a higher, like like ground, like releasing yourself as like a as like a better person overall, like um. Like uh, I mean yes, there are actual girls out there to actually speak to, and um, eventually at some point, you know, the, the, you know, you, you want to actually have a meaningful relationship. So it's like, if I if I continue to do the same cycle, I get an urge, <laughs> and, I, and I'm I'm on, I'm on Instagram, I'm jacking off my to other. I'm talking, I'm speaking in general, like you know, when you when you jacking off to girls on Instagram or not, you jacking off to other dudes' girlfriends. Um. And again, that it has, it has that's another mental uh, block right there that you're creating in your mind when you do that, because like it's other girls, other other dudes' girlfriends you're jacking up to. So whenever you see the dudes in public with a girlfriend, it's like you kind of have like this weird like it's, 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 it's why I say porn a lot, porn creates like a lot of porn creates insecurities, bro, or oh, enhances them. And so um, you're jacking up to other dudes' girlfriends and you, 
and uh, porn stars don't count because we know they got a lot. Of, they may have boyfriends as well, but they actually that that you know that that film on the dudes sleeping with them. But when you check them, the girls on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, they got they in pictures with their boyfriends hugged up and everything. And you jacking on them pictures, just trying to crop him out the picture. And you jack that, that really um you know that really um it really uh it really creates like mental blocks, man. And so it's just like when you really think about it, bro, it's the same cycle over go over and over. And you get an urge and you start like snooping around, trying to find some videos, some pictures that entice you enough to just go over the edge and relapse. Then you regret afterwards and you have to clean up clean yourself up, get in the shower and be sad. It's like damn. So when you when you look when you look at that process from afar, uh urge relapse and um uh, regret you have to. You wish I ask yourself like, damn. I I literally know. I'm. I, I literally know. What I'm, I literally know what I'm going to do. Like, I'm going to get an urge. I'm going to relapse. I'm going to feel regret afterwards. So at what point? If I really want to change, at what point am I going to stop this stop process? Um. And when really, and, and really, really think about that, it's like only I can really say, uh, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Like, like I said, in the, like a couple of videos ago, I don't. You don't. You don't. You don't bust the nuts to a lot of different type points. You don't watch it. You don't see chicks with. The most fattest prosterers out there in the world. You don't see cute chicks with green eyes, blue eyes, brown eyes. You, you, you done jacked up to so many different types of women. Uh, mind you, not really, not really, um, not really, may not have that much, you know, sexual experience, or not some, in some cases, not having a girlfriend. Um, you know, so it's like, um, okay, I didn't, I didn't, do, I didn't do all the jacking off. At one point, am I gonna see what it's like to not jack off and really experience a lot of the uh, benefits of no fab and do different things and be uh you know really you know how she guys talking about how like little things make them happy like you know going going on walks or going hanging out with their friends really just makes them like shoot dopamine into your brain rather than jacking up the porn. We we start we, you start thinking about like damn when when am I gonna really how about we try this over here okay I, I didn't jack up to a lot of porn I don't felt bad a lot you know felt low a lot. So how about we how about we try not jacking off? <laughs> how about we try not jacking off and uh, see how that feels? Because we don't, you know, you, as, as as addicts, we know how it feels to, to jack off and relapse. But how, how how does it feel to actually experience things like I don't know, <laughs> going on a walk with a girl in the park? I don't know, something simple like that. And uh, you know, so you start, you start thinking about it like that. And it's like uh, I'm tired of jacking off. How how about let's try something else. Even 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 though I know it's gonna be a hard road, I'm not gonna feel benefits. I may not feel benefits even after a month or two months, maybe even three months. But one thing I do know is if, if you go back and you go back in that world of, of watching porn, I know it's gonna I know where it's gonna get me because I've been doing it for for years. So it's like you, you try to ask yourself that you start really thinking about like damn, literally this is the same. This is gonna be uh, uh, no matter how powerful the urge is. I already know when I watch that scene. I don't care how powerful the scene is, how a one the scene is. I know when I bust that nut, it's gonna be the same exact feeling. Like, damn, I bust a nut. And the higher days you at, and the, I don't care how good the scene is, she can be a Greek goddess with a very nice posterior. But the same at the end of the day, when you bust that nut, it's gonna be the same exact feeling. Like, damn, I bust that nut. And you gotta clean up. You gotta clean yourself up. You gotta like look in the mirror. Like, yo, you ever bust a nut? And then you can't look at yourself in the mirror. Like, damn, I can't look at myself in the mirror right now. You gotta clean yourself up, or you gotta damn shit. I don't know whatever you do. Yeah, some we busting nuts in the little socks. We I ain't the, I ain't the only person who busting nuts in the sock. Let's let's move on. You got throwing in the in the, in, the, in the dirty clothes basket, and you got let's move on. You got wasting wasting all the tissue. You got cleaning stuff. It's not it's not a really good feeling. It's not a really good feeling. So it's like, at what point do you want to change that and be like, how about we actually try try speaking to a woman? Because I don't know about you guys, but when you're on a high streak and you got that semen running into your system, and you just think about a cute girl that you that's, that's in your psychology class or, or that you work with. You're like damn, she fine, and, and you get that little all that feeling in your body. Yeah, that's that feel pretty good. Um, and so it's like, how about that? When you think about that, as as opposed to just jacking off to the pictures of the girls' Instagram, it's like, how about we go try to talk to the girl rather than just jacking off to the pictures? How about we actually live rather than uh, you know live just busting us with myself? Because I tell you one thing, that process to clean that shit up. When you on a high streak and you had a lot of good a lot of good experiences, and then bam, you busting busting out on yourself, and you really laying back, it's like. Damn. Now I gotta go through this whole process over again. <laughs> Chase the effects, feeling low, feeling anxious, all that stuff. So, yeah, man. Uh, it's only it's only it's only a simple, very simple process. Urge, relapse, and regret. That's all you're gonna get out of porn. Porn. Urge, relapses, and regret. And once you get once you see that, it's like, damn, I ain't trying to bust none of them, not anymore. So yeah, I see you guys soon for day ten. And as always, don't relapse.